and created this atmosphere for, for this board who made a decision on the floor. And, and, and you should have talked to Mr. Olson or the board president about what you should do if you didn't know how to handle it. Be because it got blown out of proportion is right. There was more people upset being, and, and they were on Facebook and they're one in 12, they didn't even tell their, 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 uh, their record because they, they wouldn't spill that out that they were two in 12 or one in 13. Give me a break, Matt. As a manager, though, as a, if a coach comes to him at any time, the question is how to address it, right? I mean, he is the manager. He could say, I can get back to you. He's in charge of this district. Right. Not the baseball coaches or the basketball or the football coaches. Matt is. What? And I think it was handled wrong, and that's what happened. Out of respect for the coaches, because there was a request made in the fall from the soccer team right. that was right. allowed, right. I gave them the same courtesy to, to reach out to request them. That was it. So irregardless of the 500 record, <laughs> soccer did not have 500. No, soccer records. didn't have it either. No, so, no. And that was Mr. Adams who came. And he he picked up the phone and he talked to some board directors in regards to what they thought. I was not involved with that at that time. Right. So I wanted to give the coaches right. the same right. purpose. And out of fairness, to all. right. And then and when I got my text from the school, it said a vote on it. You can't vote. Uh, uh, you cannot vote on something by phone. We have to sit here physically and we have to vote. I heard people up my way. And I, and I got beat up on that up that way because of the fact that you let it go too far. We shouldn't even have been meeting with the union in the back room in regards to their contract opening because when they used to open it, when Andy was here, they violated the law. The board has to open up a contract. And we're sitting back there with them, and all it creates is hard feelings amongst everybody. And, 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 and you shouldn't do that again, either. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know what you're I, I'm referring to the meeting with the union uh, to open a contract so they can look at getting their insurance back. You were sitting back there. What did you set it up? We don't open contracts it, it once, they're, once union, they're closed. But they did it before, and it was illegally done between Mr. Mr. Felonk and, and, and the union president at that time. I, I think go on, on that one. No, that's no, right. Go on. I, I think the meeting was, you, instead of having it out in public, you asked them to, to talk to us in private, or in executive session, about it was they're office. wanting us to, to open it. And then we, we told you in, in a subsequent meeting to not do that. We have a bunch. It, it, we, we, it, it, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to get a good contract. We're nine lay people. They're the strongest union in the United States of America. <coughs> they offset contracts, which is wrong. They should be all done together by the state, or at least at the same time when everybody else is sitting with their, with their, their employees. And, and what, what you did was there was, all, all we found out it was, like Lori said, we've done this before. Well, it was illegal because the board wasn't involved in it. And you can't open a contract unless the board votes on it with five votes to open a contract. And why would we want to open a contract and put us through that when, when Joe and, and whoever sat there with him in those negotiations got a decent contract for us and everybody's getting a piece of the action on co-pays and, and premium payments and, and we finally got a little bit to take some of the pressure off the local taxpayers and, and you invite them in for a change to, to, to hear them out and that, that, that's what they came for. You should have known they were coming up asked about opening the contract. Well, I don't want to be rude back there, but why would you open the contract? We, we didn't, but aren't they supposed to? That's what they had came to the board and asked if we would open the contract, and we said yeah, no. Yeah, but, but she said we've done it in the past. And in the past, it wasn't done through the board. It was done between the union president and the board president, and, 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 and that's how it was done, which is illegal. Which is illegal. And I'm saying, don't break When well, we have a contract, whether I'm here or not, the contract is a contract till it's up. And we all have to live with that, no matter whether we like it or some do or some don't. I mean, we, we've, we've taken good care of our employees over the years. And, 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 and finally, we get a little piece of the action <coughs> and, forms, and we're sitting in the back room with them, and we shouldn't have been there, is what I'm saying. <coughs> because there was no reason to open up a contract for them to get the insurance back, because they were mad that Joe's wife got the insurance for herself. And Joe's doing stuff for us, and, 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 and we had our conversation with Joe on that. And uh, so that, that's my feeling on it, because that, that too was out there all, all through the last few weeks. So, Joe, 
And if you, if you don't care what I'm saying, you can tell me, because then I'm going to tell you what I think of, of you not caring. So. <laughs> I care. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm looking about, at it. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. I, just, I, I think, I mean, if the union well, had a request about the future. Well, you, you're the boss. That's what I want you to know. You are the boss of everybody that works here, and you, you are a, an extension of the board, and you are a part of this board. So you, you hook up with the board president, you have a conversation with him, and he can get that information out to us. Didn't we discuss that? Didn't we mention that prior, in a prior meeting that we would like that? I don't I don't recall that, Matt. But um, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I'm just upset because we sent stuff out in the streets that didn't need to go there. We had a contract settled and we had and we had a baseball team that are a bunch of good kids with good coaches that had one win and, and, and two wins. And it was like Jack, AJ Gadenzi was back in town on the Facebook and all the garbage was flying all over the place. We've done so much here for the kids. And, and little things like that, you have, to, you have to have a handle on it. You have to have a handle on it. Can I just ask a question about reading uh, this here? Um, and just help me to understand. When it's an open tournament, it says they were eligible, they did not qualify to participate. Now, what is the difference between an open <coughs> tournament? Anyone, doesn't matter what your record is, you can they still go. It says um, they qualified, but because of the West Wing policy, they were not... Exemption from the board. What's that? Even though it was an open tournament. Which one are we reading? The soccer? I was reading them. Yeah, when it said exemption from this board policy. We 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 did the, the soccer. We did. they had to make a decision before the end of the 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 end of the season. And they had the potential to be 500. Yeah. By that. Okay, yeah. Okay. Is why we opted to okay. let them yeah. know. That's the only reason. And, and it had to be filed with the IAA or where it was running the tournament by that okay. date. So that, that was kind of a little <coughs> uh, where this whole thing is heading. And somebody's got to have some ability Correct. to so make that call without asking us every time. Well, we're the ones that are responsible for it, Rick. Right. We are. We are. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, so I, 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 at least a courtesy yeah. call, and we, we can, you know, or something. But you, you didn't like the call right? yes. when, he, when he did ask for so, what, everybody to put their opinion in as to whether we should or shouldn't let them. So what we're requesting is that either we have administrative discretion uh -huh. <coughs> as the direct, as the head of athletics, the high school principal, right. in collaboration with the AD, right. to determine whether or not a team qualified to go based upon a variety of factors mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if it's an open tournament. Right. Otherwise, the recommendation is to either get rid of it or we have some administrative right. discretion. And you said you were going to rework on it, and, and, and obviously and that's, what that's what you're doing. Yes. And, uh, and uh, we can look at it, and then we can see what we think. And, and, uh, but there was, the point was, there was a motion on the floor last year, and so that's still the motion, so there should, it says 500. And, and I think you shouldn't have went there unless you sat down at a work session with us and, and we talked about it there. Because the phone call stuff I wasn't work. The phone call. I understand that, but the, it, it was a matter of timing as well because right. they needed to know within the next two days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the next board right. meeting was right. several weeks. And they had two weeks before that starts. So the shame on them because of the fact that they're telling you now we want you have to let us know by Sunday. Well, we have a policy. We don't have a policy. No, we do. Yeah, we do. We, do the policy Matt said says, we didn't no. have a policy when, when Mr. Gadenzi made the motion. Oh, I see. Because yeah, Joe didn't do anything in regards we to We don't have policy. anything. We don't, what we right. have is the motion. Right. We don't have a written policy, anything in place. Right. Well, well that should have stood for something, though. It, it does. Uh, it does. So it has no policy okay. with the motion okay. is. So we're going to review this policy that you guys came up with. So we potentially make some refinements, like I said. Yeah. So yeah. Or, or, okay. we, we got the concerns now from the coaches okay. from each sport. Mm -hmm. Recommendations we have mm -hmm. to language, right. which is because at, of the, at the back page. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the fact is everybody can go out there, and we're the good old boys club. I work up in the prison. We're all friends. We look out for each other. So, so the bottom line, if your buddy's the baseball coach, or the football coach, or the basketball coach. And you like him, you get along, he's going to put a good word in for him because, oh, well, they should play because they're getting a lot better the last few games. And, and that's what sold us on the side. You're right. In order to avoid that, I want to, that's why 
Yeah, I mean, so, request on behalf of so. Right. Well, the easier thing That's is to say that hey, if you don't play 500, or maybe if you don't win a third year game, I have no problem doing that. A third year game. There's no issue doing that. Oh, the, but uh, as, I, as I said, because it was already made in yeah. this school right. year right. with another team, right. it would be fair to all the other teams yeah. that yeah. have that yeah. request okay. as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Question. Okay. Before we do no, go ahead. If I don't, know, I didn't read how, how many teams actually are open tournaments? How many of these? Yeah. A lot of people. Oh, do you know how many? Um, baseball is.